Hello, Real Fluency friends. I'm Trisha, and I'm here to teach you real English used in real life so you can reach real fluency now. And today, you will learn two phrasal verbs that use the word cover, cover up and cover for. Cover up means to hide the truth about something, usually a crime or a mistake. By not telling what you know or by stopping other people from telling what they know. It's usually used when talking about a crime or scandal of some sort. Cover up is a phrasal verb that can be separated. But first, I want to give you a sample sentence where it's not separated. The president is trying to cover up the truth. In this sentence, the truth is a direct object. In this sentence, cover up is separated. The politician covered the whole scandal up. The second definition is pretty easy to understand, and you probably already know it. It means to put something over or on a person or a thing. The sample sentence with it separated is, he was coughing and sneezing in the kitchen, so I covered the food up. It is also frequently used with the word with, as in, after she fell asleep, I covered her up with a blanket. An example of it not separated is, I'm going to cover up my cup of tea because it is very windy and dusty today. Or, we wear swimming suits to cover up our private parts when we go swimming. Some people call them bathing suits, but personally, I don't understand that. We swim in them. We don't take a bath in them. So tell me in the comments. What English word have you learned to call the clothes that you wear when you are swimming? A bathing suit or a swimming suit? And what does it translate to in your native language? I'm curious. I'd like to know. What are you doing? I don't need to be covered up. I have clothes on. Go away. Those subscribe buttons just won't leave me alone. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done that yet, and maybe they will stop bothering me. Cover four is not a separable phrasal verb, and it has two different meanings which are kind of similar to each other. The first meaning is to do someone's work while they are sick or, or gone, as in, I feel sick today and need to find someone to cover for me at work, or She's on vacation, so I'm covering for her this week. It can also mean to protect someone or give an excuse for their behavior. As in, if he finds out that I did it, will you cover for me? So what are the 10 most useful phrasal verbs? Click here to get a free list with definitions. That's almost all for today. But before you go, please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done that yet. Or stay and watch more English lessons here on YouTube from me or from my friend Emma, who can help you with pronunciation. Goodbye, and remember, with hope, anything is possible. That's good.